Hey guys, Animal House back here, so, sorry about the glare of my glasses, but you know, and my hair, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago about, but just so you guys know, I have a big surprise that all of you guys are probably going to be surprised if you knew about this, I will show you it in a minute, this is not the surprise, but I got braces, so yeah, and this color is called aqua, and this color is called lilac, so let's get straight into the video now, this is Coda, my new dog, and he is a four year old Maltese mix, and just so you guys know, if you didn't know, I've always, like, since I was, like, like, on my fourth birthday, when I could actually understand what I wanted more, like, you know what I mean, guys? Like, when you're old enough to actually know what you want, you're not just like, oh, I want that, peace out, my God, or something. Like, when you're four, you get a little bit, well, you know what I mean. But this is him. I've always wanted a dog since I was four, and I'm ten and a half about he has some markings on him and he is the sweetest dog ever um on thursday it was his three week anniversary um i'm sorry i didn't tell you guys about him um before because i just keep kept forgetting to tell you guys about it yeah, um, he was from a rescue, the SPCA, Brandywine Valley SPCA, which is pretty far from where I live, um, but we went there to see if there are any hypogenic dogs, and I will tell you guys a story, so just hang in there, and then comment any questions you have about him, and I will comment right back to you as soon as I see them, and I will check if I have any comments and how many views I have, but basically... I have bird club at my school. Yeah, we're still working on the training. Um, and I was disappointed because I didn't know I had bird club. And my dad promised me to go. And I thought they closed at 5, but then he looked it up and said 7. So after bird club, um, we went to the Brandon Valley SPCA. And we saw this little cute face just sitting well, standing, but he was sitting, and got, you know, I, I don't need to give you, like, that much detail. I don't want to bore you. But he was there, and, um, stop. And we liked him, so there's a meet and greet room in ours where we can pet him, feed them, like, feed them treats, play with them talk about them, a worker comes in, and we went in there, and I really loved him, and I, and my mom was at work, and I asked my dad, can we call mom, and he said, no, she's not going to make a decision, and they closed at 7, I know I already said that, but this is going to be easier to explain if I just say that, let go of me, sorry guys, um, and so, the adoption stopped at 6.30, and it was about 6, almost, when we left the meet and greet room. So my dad said, we'll just camp out, basically, in front of the cage until a little bit after 6.30, so nobody will get a chance to let him lick them or something. Um, I'll just take these off. And then I heard people talking about him. His name was Kodak when we first got him. But I was calling him Kodiak in the meet and greet room. So that's why he's named Koda. But I heard them say his name and point over to the cage. And I told my dad and he said, stay here. And I said, okay. And I just stayed in front of the cage. And since I was in front of the cage, one of the workers was like, excuse me, is it okay if we take him out for a meet and greet? And I wasn't going to be like, oh, no, this is my dog. You can't take it. So I said, oh, yeah, sure. And then I, this is going to sound really, like, dumb. Even though I ran like 50 feet, I ran so fast 
that I was like, <sighs> when I got to my dad and I said, Dad, people are me in the meet and greet room and are really going to like him and probably adopt him. But I was talking like this, Dad, someone's going to be me in the meet and greet room and really going to like him and adopt him because I didn't want them to get a chance to say, oh, yeah, I want this one. And then he said to the office people, he said, can we please have the adoption papers? So it was a deal. We were getting Coda. And then, and then after that, he called my mom at work. And my mom told me um, that she was in the room with the patient, like when she came back from work a few days later. She doesn't go to work for a few days, but it's hard to explain, like, not really. But anyway, um, she told me that she was in the room with the patient and she was about because she's a nurse. She was about to give them a shot I, or medicine, I think. And, like, not medicine, like, in the shot. Well, there would be. But a shot with medicine or, like, medicine that you eat. Something like that. And she said, can I call him back? And the person who was on the phone with my dad said... No, they said it's an emergency. And then when my dad answered, my mom thought, like, something happened to me or him or one of the family members. And she was scared. But he said, are you going to be mad if there's a dog in the house when you come home? And she said, uh. And then my dad was like, there's this dog at the SPCA, and it's going to be taken because somebody is me and me in group room and, and wants to adopt it probably. And... I think it's the right dog for us because we've been waiting. He didn't say this, but because we've been waiting for a dog for a year. That's when they promised me, a year ago. Um, well, more than a year ago. And so she said, I don't think I have any choice. So we took him home, and now he's a part of the family. So that is my story. I'm going to put back... I'm going to put my glasses back on. So, you guys comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. I really hope you guys like this video. And I will leave updates on him. And I will have a video of him wearing some of his clothes that we have for him. And what food I suggest for your dog. And treats. So, bye guys. See you later. Thanks for watching.